Welcome, this is my sixth tutorial in my Apple Watch uh, tutorial series and um, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to do animations on the Apple Watch. Okay, so um, before on the iPhone, um, to animate uh, you'd use something called the Core Animation Framework or you'd use, um, to make things simple like fade in or fade out labels, you'd use something like UI view dot animate and you would um, fade in the label uh, set a timer and have it animate over a particular duration but with the Apple Watch uh, things are a little different um, how you do it is you basically play a sequence of images um, over a set time interval and those images will um, be your animation so here let me give you an example of <clears throat> what type of um, image we're going to be using today. So you might know the the rainbow wheel from the loading mouse image on Apple computers and we want to bring that image and that animation to the Apple Watch. So let me just show you how it looks. Let's open it up in Safari and um, yeah so it's just a simple wheel. Um, it rotates and this is how it looks. All right. And what we want to do is we want to break it up into several different images and then play those images in a loop on the Apple Watch. And I've already done that. Um, I've named each image, um, each of the six images, wheel dash, um, whatever number it corresponds to. And you don't have to worry, I'm going to be providing these images, so um, look out for a link for them in the description. All right, so let's start by creating our... Um, Xcode project. So hit Xcode, um, create a new project. Um, let's make this a single view application. I'll call this um, Apple Watch Animations Tutorial. And um, we'll be using uh, Swift today, but I know a lot of you have requested for both Swift and Objective C. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to write this same tutorial in um, Objective-C and I'll upload it to my GitHub repository and you can look at it there. Okay, so let's hit next. I'm going to save it in my watch kit animation, hit Swift, and create. Okay, so here is our project. As usual, we want to go to File, New, target. Um, let's hit watch get app. Let's uncheck notification scene and let's hit finish. Okay there we go. All our watch get files have now popped up. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our Apple Watch storyboard and I'll just open up the assistant editor so we can see the code um, while we work with the storyboard. And we want to drag in a UI image view onto um, the watch kit view controller. So let's scroll down in the objects pane in the bottom right hand corner and let's drag in our image view. And for the sizing, since my images are 60 by 60, uh, let's hit 60 for the width and 60 for the height. And let's keep the position in the center for horizontal and the center for vertical. Okay, so now we have our image. So next what we want to do is we want to go into images.xc assets for the WatchKit app. So there are going to be two images.xc assets. So we want to be, um, we pr uh, right now for this tutorial, we're going to be working with the one in the WatchKit app. So make sure you click on the right one. So click on that. And what we will do is we will just drag our images into the XE assets. So as I said before, I'm going to be providing these images so you don't have to worry about creating your own, but you can if you want to. Whoops and just drag them in there. Okay, there we go. And let's go back to our storyboard, scroll to our watch, 
Okay. I'm just going to close this so you can see the code better. Just close this up. All right, there we go. And as usual, we want to link up our image view with our storyboard. So I'm just going to drag this over and insert the outlet. And just to make things simple, I'll call it my image view. Image view. And there we go. And um, make sure that's right below the class definition or declaration. Okay. And now in our awake with context method, um, we want to uh, populate this image view with our image and also animate it right when the watch kit view starts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to type in self dot my image view dot set image set image named I'm sorry and you're gonna do wheel dash and I didn't put in the number because we want to um, we want to repeat the number so specifically called it wheel dash zero wheel dash one all the way to five so our six images are there and in the next line, we want to um, animate the images and like basically increment the um, increment the counter and then repeat it. So self dot my image view dot start animating with images in range. Hit enter. Um, we want to make a range, so we'll do ns make range. And our range starts from zero and ends at five. So we have our six images there. Um, our duration will have as one and the repeat count will be negative one. Okay, so now <clears throat> we have these two lines and this should start um, animating our images. And actually, um, today I'm not gonna be running this on the simulator because I received my Apple Watch uh, last week, so now I'm just gonna switch to a video from my camera showing uh, this app running on the Apple Watch. And I think that'll be pretty neat. Okay, here we go. Okay, and as you just saw uh, the animation on the actual Apple Watch, um, it was pretty smooth. And of what I've heard so far is that the watch kit or the Apple Watch frame rate is about 30 frames per second. So you can plan your animations accordingly and cut the images and set the timers accordingly. So yeah, about about 30 frames per second. And yeah, I mean, um, animations are pretty simple on the Apple Watch. It's pretty much just uh, taking a, a GIF, uh, chopping it up, and um, uh, repeating it, um, repeating the sequence of images over and over again. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, or even future suggestions for videos, uh, just leave it in the comment section below. Um, I will upload both the code in Objective C as well as Swift and provide a link in the description. I'm also going to provide the images. So, yeah, and that concludes this tutorial. Good luck.